G'day, Rev Fox here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to level up your German pointer super fast. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're in the game. I'm at VDB, basically the Ibex map. I've started at this lodge here. So we're just going to go over and how the German pointer actually works, just to start off. So he will just follow me like this at the moment. And then we'll put him on track rabbits and birds. So he's going to basically scan a 200 meter radius because my dog is level 46. The lower your dog um, is in level, the lower that will be. But at the moment he's 46, so he scans a really, really big cone of basically pretty much your whole hunter mate. Um, the hunter mate extends to 220 meters out. Uh, so the dog detects 200. So he will basically run in front, just like this. And until he picks up something, he will do a slow, steady walk. You'll see it in just a minute here. He will do a slow, steady walk on an animal that he's found. See how he's just running in front of me now at the moment? You can tell he's not picking up anything. Um, so you can like legit run around the map and just have your German pointer out and wait for him to detect something and just hunt just like that if you wanted to. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that like starting out though because as I said that detection radius um, when you're low level isn't that great. So running around like this trying to detect something doesn't really work out that great. But as when you level him up like I have, it, it can hunt like this if you want to. Um, so he still hasn't picked up anything. Oh, now he has though. See how he's doing a slow walk? So if I was walk if I was running up this way, see how he's still turning to the to the right over there because he wants to find something over there. So no matter what I do now, he's determined to go in that direction and find whatever he's tracked. All right, so we have found some rabbits. Now this is one of the ways to level up your German pointers super, super fast. So what I'm going to do um, is just activate him to rabbits right here and basically just stand on the burrows like this of the rabbits. See how he's pointing? So as immediately when he starts pointing, you want to cancel him straight away because that will actually drain his, um, his experience, uh, not his experience, sorry, his, um, what do you call it? He's refreshed XP gain, okay? And that will go down the more that you use him. So that drains when he's pointing. You want to cancel the pointing straight away so it doesn't drain much at all. It's all about being efficient with time and being efficient with um, basically your distance in between each animal that you're trying to get him to smell or sniff out, point at. So. Again, we're going to do the same thing again, and he will gain XP. You watch up there, top right. He will gain XP. There we go. See, he just gained XP. So we want to. We can also feed him if we want. And treat him. So that's another great way to earn XP. It's not like super super fast with the dog treats, but it at least gains you, you know, a little bit of something. So that's all you need to do. Um, really, this is just it. Um, just basically keep refreshing this every time when it's um, not on cooldown here your cooldown period will decrease the higher level your dog is so at the moment mine's like really high level so he only has a cooldown period of like 30 seconds I believe but when you're starting out I think it's only like two minutes or so um, or it is two minutes so just keep refreshing this wait for him to point feed him if you want if you got dog treats it's not necessary um, but it does help speed up the process and this will uh, this will gain you levels super super fast again it really helps if you have a second monitor or if you're on steam you can just uh, shift tab and go to the web browser and you know view videos through there um, whatever you decide to do in your spare time while you're leveling them up but this is like a super super easy way you know you just stand here and just keep doing this over and over again and it'll level them up super quick so here we are at the next method of actually leveling up your German pointer super fast is actually, you guessed it, pheasants. So with the pheasants, we just want him to uh, point over here and see this pheasant here, for example, right there. We're just going to stay right next to it and it will stay better down like this, laying down. 
um, for basically forever. As long as you don't move far, far away from this pheasant, he will just stay there. So we can do the same thing, just like on the rabbits. Just stay here and just keep repeating the command over and over again. Um, also, I forgot to mention, um, with your... Um, you know how you may set him on to track a certain thing? And then he's like doing that slow walk or just like running around as he goes. That also drains XP. So again, very, very important is the distance from each command to the animal. Very important. Because as soon as you do this, it starts draining XP. So that's why you want to cancel him as soon as he points straight away. Because it conserves more energy, which means a higher XP gain so at the moment he's refreshed we're going to try to keep him at that like a hundred percent of the time um, it would definitely decrease a lot less faster than if you do it like really short like this in between each command um, just one more thing is when you do command him that one's flying away because it's at a distance that's fine but this one will stay down um, another thing is when you command him like this you want to feed him. If you do have treats, feed him straight away. Um, don't go command, then he points, and then say come here and then feed because you will actually gain less XP off that treat. You want to reward him as soon as he points. So when he points, you want to reward him straight away and then you'll get more XP as if you did a point, come here command, then gave him a treat. You would actually get less XP. That's it for this video. Remember, if you did find the video helpful or very informative, you can always give me a like. If you didn't find it helpful or not very informative, you can always give me a dislike. Um, you can always follow me on t social media, uh, such as Twitter and Twitch. The links to those are below the video right here. Till next time, Fox out.